I'm so glad I transferred here. I hardly had any friends back in my Who old is school. That? Ew, why is he waving at us? You don't know him, do you? Uh, no. I have no clue who he is. I'm sorry. I just remembered I have to do something, but I'll meet you later at my house, okay? I don't have a ride. Yeah, me neither. I was hoping to get a ride with you, actually. No. Sorry. That won't work. Just take the bus. Or Uber. I'll text you guys the address. Bye. Well, that was awkward. Seriously. It's fine. The bus should be here in a sec anyway. Honey, where are you going? Hey, sweetheart. I was calling you. So how was your first day? Where's mom? She was supposed to pick me up. I know, but she got busy, so I figured I'd come. So are you going to tell me how your first day of school was? In the car, not here. Now hurry, get in. What's the rush? Mom, where were you? I specifically said I wanted you to pick me up. Well, honey, I got tied up on a call. What's the big deal, anyway? I just started at a new school. I want to make a good impression. I prefer not letting the whole school know that my dad... <sighs> Look, my friends are coming over, so can you and dad just go somewhere for a couple hours? Please. Go get something to eat or something. Uh, honey, actually, I was going to barbecue. Maybe I can make some for you and your new friends and not get with No. You. Mom, please. You know what? Why don't we just go on down to Fridays? We haven't been there in a long time. And it's happy hour. OK. I guess that's fine. Come on, baby. I'll drive, OK? This top is so cute. I might order it. Hey, have you met this girl? Alex? Yeah, she's in my chem class. She seems super sweet. Stay away from her. Trust me, you don't want to be friends with her. OK. We'll actually send you a list of girls to stay away from. And guys, not today. Oh my god. There's that guy again. What the heck is he doing here? He better not be following us. What if he's some sort of creep? No way. Is it 5.15 already? I'm going to be so late to my uh, Pilates class. You do Pilates? Mm hmm I should have told you guys ahead of time. My bad. But I'll see you at school tomorrow. Is there anyone here that can give us a ride? No. Mm -mm. Sorry. But if you want, I will call you an Uber. You just have to go. Like, right now. Like, now. Oh, sorry! Uh, not that way. That door's actually, um, having problems. But I will take you out back. It worked perfectly fine earlier. Only coming in, not leaving. Sorry. I'm gonna order your Uber now, and it'll be here soon. Bye! Mason. You were supposed to take Dad for a couple hours. It's only been an hour and a half. OK. Well, it didn't take us that long to finish eating. What's the big deal, anyway? The big deal is I don't want my friends to know who my dad is. They'll make fun of me. That is not a nice thing to say, Sin. I'm not going to let you continue to talk about your dad this way. You should be proud that he's your father. Well, I'm not. I don't want anyone to know who he is. It's embarrassing. Sal, she didn't mean it. Honey, don't. How could you say something like that? 
You need to go out there and apologize to him right now. Well, it's true. I mean, I don't understand why he's in the wheelchair anyway. I wish I had a normal dad like everyone else. <sighs> Mom, what's wrong? Cindy. Your father never wanted you to know about this. But I, I think it's time for me to tell you the truth. You see, your dad used to be really fit. He worked out all the time. He was even in better shape than me. He loved to go on runs but we didn't live in the safest neighborhood. And one day, while he was gone, we had a scare. So that's why your dad decided to get a gun. He hid it in a drawer, just in case anything ever happened. Little did we know that you would find it. He walked into the room and saw you holding it. He tried to get it from you, but you accidentally shot him. When we got to the hospital, the doctor said the bullet hit his spine. And because of that, he'd never be able to walk again. But even after all that, never once did he get upset at you. So you see, your father's in a wheelchair because you found the gun. You were just too young to remember. Oh my God. I had no idea. He never wanted me to tell you because he didn't want you to blame yourself. He loves you so much. Oh, it's not your fault. We should have locked it up. Here's the full list of people not to talk to. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know there were this many people in our grade. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. There's that weirdo again. We should just call the cops. Hey, on. over here. Cindy, why are you calling him over? Uh, actually, I should have told you this sooner, but he's my dad. The best dad in the world for that matter. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys didn't make any comments about him, especially if you want to ride. <laughs> you want us to ride with him? Hey, honey. Can he even drive? Yeah, he can. What if people see us with him, though? So? There's nothing wrong with him. Fine. You guys can just go ahead and take the bus home, then. Oh, and don't forget this. Bye. <laughs> Hi, honey. Look, I'm sorry your mom couldn't come pick you up. She had to No, go. it's fine. I'm actually really happy that you came instead of mom. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, could you pick me up tomorrow too? Sure, honey. I'd like that. 